Hey guys, it's that time of year. Pumpkin's here. Today we'll be making some pumpkin spice tres leches. For all you, you can't do anything in fall without pumpkin. And I'm here to show you how to get the most out of your pumpkin. So today we're gonna to be making tres leches, but with pumpkin. So buckle up ladies, we gonna have some fun. It is that time of year again. It is pumpkin season. Today, welcome back to Cooking Unscripted. We didn't start with that, but I hope you guys enjoyed my little uh, Han Solo basic bitch pumpkin intro. We are going to be making tres leches, which if you know me, you know that I love tres leches. We are gonna make a pumpkin version. We're gonna do a lot slightly different than we did our Christmas tres leches last year, but it's all the same. The outcome is wonderful, it's great. You can take it to your Thanksgiving party and just be different. It's different than doing pumpkin pie, apple pie, pumpkin cheesecake, it's just, it's something a little bit different. But first and foremost, we're gonna start with some flour, our baking soda, we're gonna be using baking soda and baking powder. So two teaspoons, two teaspoons, some cinnamon. Now you can buy your pumpkin spice, spice? I don't know what else, it's a pumpkin spice. Spice. I like to spice it myself. We're gonna use some cinnamon, some ginger. If you don't use ginger in your pumpkin spice, you really should. Get your act together, we could be just fine. It gives a great, nice little bite. Some allspice, definitely go light on allspice because it will take over. Kind of like a pair of Uggs. Just take over and fucking fall. Nutmeg, make sure that you use fresh nutmeg, not the powder ground stuff. You can find it pretty much anywhere. Oh, well, really, not really. I mean, if you have a world market, they tend to have fresh nutmeg or you can order it online. Again, be careful with nutmeg because it is ridiculously strong. These nuts, as my daughter would say, that's what she does. So we're gonna set this aside. In a large bowl, we're gonna add our pumpkin. Again, you can buy the pumpkin pie filling. I prefer to flavor it myself. We're gonna add sugar. <laughs> Oops. And we're gonna add some oil. Vegetable oil is fine. I wouldn't use any extra virgin. You can use a neutral flavored oil like grapeseed. And then, oh, our two. So we're gonna add one huevo at a time. Well, I had the dropsies all day yesterday and this morning. So just not shocking that now at the end of the day, shit's going awry. Eggs are so much fun to clean up. What the fuck? The shit just scored on me. Okay, so we have our pumpkin, our oil, our sugar, our eggs, huevos. We are going to add the flour in two stages. Again, mix on low, because you don't want to be cleaning up flour from everywhere. Add our remaining flour. This time I wouldn't suggest it, just saying. I wouldn't do it. Get in and grab the last of that flour. You got a nice batter. So we're gonna add a little bit of vanilla, my vanilla. We're not cleaning up the sugar because I don't feel like it. With the pan itself, you can do a couple of different things. One, you can use Pam and spray it. You can use oil. I prefer butter. And I think I said this in the first Trace Leches video, it gives a crust to the cake that you don't get, or at least I don't get, with oil and or pan spray. So you can take a towel and just get in there, rub her on down, boom. And then we'll take our pumpkin mix. Make sure we spread it out. 
This will go into a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes, depending on where you live. For us, it took about 35 minutes, but you want a toothpick and or skewer to come out of it clean. Well, as this is working, we'll get the rest of the tres leches prepared. All right. So the pumpkin cake is out of the oven. As you can see, it's nice and firm. We want to cool it completely. And then once it's cold, we just want to fork the fuck out of it. Fork it, fork it, fork it. <laughs> Trace leches, three milks. We've got heavy cream, about a cup, our carnation, evaporated milk, a couple of cloves, not the cigarette, and a cinnamon stick. And we want to bring this to a simmer. Again, be careful, there's heavy cream in here. It will bubble up, it will bubble over, which could cause a fire. So don't walk away and leave this unattended. While this is getting ready, what we did with the condensed milk, which will be our third milk, is we actually boiled it and we turned it into dulce de leche. We're gonna add this to the bowl and then we'll hit it with the cream and then this will make our milk for our cake. Yes. It's like the best thing in the world. And if you don't know how to make this or you haven't seen any of my earlier videos on how to make this, you basically take a can of condensed milk, you throw it in boiling water for two hours, and then you get caramelized condensed milk. Super easy. And as you can see, the heavy cream boils up. And then this will go into the refrigerator too cool, because it has to be cool. Once it's cold, you take your milk mixture, slowly pour it on top of your forked cake. So we're gonna set this off to the side. We're gonna let the cake absorb the cream. To finish up, we need some whipped cream to put on top of our tres leches. So there's no need to add sugar to this because obviously the tres leches is very, very, very sweet. So we can actually leave the heavy cream or the whipped cream plain. Check peaks and stiffness. There we go. Perfect. Our tres leches is done. We're gonna cut this. Oh, look at that. Oh, some good. We want big piece, right? Go big or go home. Let's get in there. It's like perfect. And what you want is you can kind of see in the front here where the milk is leaking out, but it's not pouring out. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of whipped cream. And you know, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of cinnamon. Why? because you can't have pumpkin without cinnamon. There are no two better things than fall pumpkin. That's three things. There are no three things better than fall pumpkin and Starbucks. So let's enjoy some pumpkin tres leches and pumpkin spice latte and our vest and our Louis Vuitton scarf. And let's enjoy some. If I get it on a scarf, my wife will kill me. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, a subscribe, a notify, all that good stuff. And from all of us at Cooking Unscripted, I wish you all nothing but the happiest of Thanksgivings. Enjoy your family. I didn't say anything about the t-shirt today, but this t-shirt represents me and my wife. It is our thing. I know a lot of other people have this as well, but to us, it is very special. So please, again, enjoy Thanksgiving and we will see you guys next time. Much love. Ew, dad, what are you wearing? It's so basic. <laughs>